Thank you for watching and in this video we are going to cover the whole wizard. So whole wizard is a feature in SOLIDWORKS which allows us to use the industry standard sizes holes into our parts. So we can use tapered holes, countersunk holes, counter bore holes and many more. So let's go into the SOLIDWORKS and let's see how it works. So there is one recommendation from me like whenever you are going into the whole wizard so you should select the face or plane wherever you want to make a hole. So I'm just going to select this face and then let's go into the features and into the ribbon section you can see there is an option hole wizard. So I'm going to go into the hole wizard. Okay in the hole wizard there are two tabs. The first one is type and the second one is position. So right now we are in the type and here you can see there is a multiple types of hole type so what you can do is like you can bring your mouse and you can see like the first one is counterboard hole and the second one is counter sink hole and third one is simple hole so these are all the available options which you want to make so you can just choose according to your design and in the second row there is a straight tap and another one is taper tap and then legacy holes and even they have some kind of counter bore slots as well. Counter bore slot, counter sink slot, and then simple slot. Under these hole types, you can see there is an option like standards. What kind of standard do you want to use? So you can see there is NC inch, NC metric, and all other different kind of standards are available. So let's go with the NC metric. And then under the standards, there is another option like which kind of slot or hole do you want to use? So I can go in and then I can choose. Suppose let's go with the socket head cap screw. And then the next option is hole specification. What size of the hole do you want? So you can choose M1, M2, M3, whatever, because right now we are in NC metric. So let's say we are going to go with the M5. Okay, and then there is an option fit, like do you want to have a normal fit or loose fit or close fit? So I would like to go with the normal fit. And then there is option, like if you don't want to use any standard, so what you can do is you can just check this and then you can have your own custom sizing. And then there is another option which is end condition, how deep you want to go. And again, you can see the first option is blind or through all up to next, up to vertex, up to surfaces. If you have multiple surfaces or offset from the surface. So I would say let's go with the through all. When you are already selected, whatever the kind of hole you want to have. And then what you can do is you can go into the positions. Okay. And then you can see with your cursor the hole is attached so what you can do is wherever you are gonna click there is gonna be made a hole as you can see i click here if i want to click here it's gonna be made holes click here let's say click here so like i already heard this from a lot of students like when they are just learning the solidworks and when they are in this tool so they want to get rid of this command so they are always confused like how to get rid of this command so what you can do is as you can see right now you are in the sketch and you are ready into a point command so what you can do is if you want to stop making holes what you can do is you can just uncheck this point and then you can see the hole option is not connected with our mouse anymore and this was the first option and the second option is if you want to have some more holes you can just go in and then you can select point again so another option is like you can just press the escape key on your keyboard and then you would also be out of the command okay and as i already mentioned we are in sketch so if you don't like this sketch or if you want to made another sketch so what you can do is you can go into the line or any any of the sketch command suppose i want to made a line i don't like this sketch so wherever you want to made a hole so you can just draw your sketch and then you can made you can go into the point and then you can made your holes wherever you want but right now as we already had a sketch here so what i would like i would just like to delete this and then i would like to have holes on this sketch but if you have these holes on a wrong place where you don't want by just by mistake you click on the surface anywhere and you made the holes there 
but you are not satisfied with them so what you can do is as you can see there is a blue dot on the hole so what you can do is you can just hold them and then you can pick and you can put them wherever you want suppose i want to put this hole into the corner of this sketch like this okay and then suppose i want to bring this hole here and i want to bring this slot onto the corner like that and let's bring this one as well here okay like that so i just bring all the holes according to my sketch wherever i want so if you are satisfied what you can do is you can just click the green check mark so in this way we have all our holes onto our body according to our sketch wherever we want to insert the holes as you can see okay but just keep in mind this is a feature so if you are not happy or if you want to change the size or change the type of the hole so what you can do is you can again go back into the feature into the feature manager and then you can click on that and then you can edit feature suppose you don't like this counter bore hole and you want to have countersunk hole so you can just select countersunk as you can see it is going to be changed into the countersunk and if you want to change the size still you can change the size it's going to be reduced as you can see and then you can click the green check mark look now we have just added the feature and we have countersunk holes and with the different size so this is a really powerful tool in SOLIDWORKS when you want to use different industry size holes or if you want to have some custom holes. And that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you are a serious SOLIDWORKS learner, then don't forget to check the course link in the description. Thank you. Sorry for distraction, but if you think my videos are helpful for you or if you are a serious SOLIDWORKS learner, I am going to highly recommend you, you can go into the description of this video where you can find my course link in which I have over 10 hours of videos in which I explain each and every command in a detailed way. Thank you.